Let's solve another system of linear equations graphically again. Except this time we're going to use slope and y-intercept. To begin with, just as in before, I'm going to number these equations. I'm going to call that equation number one, call that equation number two. So let's split them up and move them around a bit so they're easier to work with. In order to use slope and y-intercept to graph these two equations, we're going to need to put it into slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. m is my slope, b is my y-intercept, and I'm going to convert those equations until they're in that form. Let's start with number one. I need to get the y's all by themselves. So let's start by moving everything that's not a y over to the other side. Subtract 3x, subtract 3x. I now have negative 2y equals, now just because we got the x's in the front in our form of our equation, we we'll do the same thing here. So I've got that minus 3x minus 4. Next step, I want to get y all by itself, so I'm going to divide everything by minus 2. What I'm left with is y, negative divided by the negative is a positive, leave it as a fraction. I've got 3 halves x, and minus 4 divided by minus 2 gives me plus 2. So for this equation, for line 1, slope of line 1 equals 3 halves. That's a rise of 3 and a run of 2. My y-intercept of that line happens to be plus 2. Let's go put that on the graph. I've got my slope and my y-intercept. Remember, when you're drawing these, you need to start with your y-intercept. That's your starting point. My y-intercept is 2. It's going to cross up there. And then it's got a slope of 3 halves. Rise of 3. Run of two. Rise of three, run of two. That's a point. Rise of three, run of two. That's a point. Well, that's enough for me to draw my line now. Let's just label that so we've got it. And let's go back to the other equation. Okay, same thing. I want to get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I've got y equals, I'm going to flip the order minus 2x minus 5. Our slope of our second line is whatever is in front of the x. That's a minus 2. I'm going to treat it as a minus 2 over 1. And our y-intercept of our second line is minus 5. Let's go put that on the graph. All right, so we start with our y-intercept, and it crosses at minus 5. So it's going to cross all the way down here. And my slope is minus 2 over run. So it's a rise of minus 2 and a run of 1. So 2 down, 1 over. 2 down, 1 over. I'm running out of space here a little bit. So I'm going to do the opposite going to the left. That's 2 up, 1 over. And that should give us enough points to draw our line. So let's put it in. Now you see why it's good to draw the line through the entire graph? My blue line, I almost had to go back and extend it because it didn't reach. But I can see exactly where my solution is going to be. It's going to be right there. The solution for this system is that point, and that point happens to be minus 2 on the x and minus 1 on the y. That is the answer to my question.